Hi, if we haven't met, I'm Dr. Ben Safransky, and welcome to 5-Minute Lenten Reflections on the Gospels. I'm going to be presenting every day a reflection five minutes or less on the day's Gospel reading for the Mass. I want to talk for a minute first about why I'm doing that this Lent. As humans, we naturally live our life in cycles. We naturally set aside days and seasons to focus on important things, to remember important things. We celebrate anniversaries. We celebrate feasts and fasts. Uh, and Lent, for the Christian, is obviously is one of the most important times of the year as we prepare for Easter, one of the best times of the year to refocus on growing closer to Christ and on making intentional spiritual progress. Now, part of the reason I'm doing these reflections is because I often have a hard time finding ways to fit in intentional that intentional spiritual progress throughout Lent. And so I'm thinking of these reflections as a spiritual work that we can do together. The way I see it, a five-minute video, which offers a little bit of reflection and insight into the gospel reading, as well as a challenge on living out that gospel reading, could help all of us make some progress in our spiritual lives this Lent. So when I offer these reflections, I'm going to be reflecting along mainly three different lines. Number one, I'm going to be talking about what is God doing in this passage, in the particular gospel passage for the day. Number two, I will sometimes talk about why the church would select that passage for us at that point in Lent or during Lent at all, what it has to do with our Lenten journey. Because while the Holy Spirit inspired the writing of the scriptures, it's the church inspired by the Holy Spirit that arranges those scriptures in different ways for us to experience throughout the year and throughout Lent. And then lastly, something that for me is very important in a reflection, I'm going to talk every day about what this passage has to teach us about living a Christian life right now. Because I'm a firm believer that every passage in the gospel has something to tell us about living the gospel now, whatever age of the world we live in. And so I'm going to end each day's reflection with a kind of challenge, a challenge on how to live out the message of that passage right now during Lent. That's something that I find very important to consider when I'm reading the Gospels. And so I'll be challenging myself as well as you to think about living that passage out. Now, every day when I do the reflection, I will show you at the bottom of the screen what the passage is for the day, but I'm not going to read it to you. So if you go to daily mass, you'll hear the gospel reading, or if you don't have the chance, haven't had a chance to go to daily mass, you can go to usccb.org, click on daily readings at the very top of the website, and then you can either click on the day to read the readings on their website. You can go to the USCCB podcast where they present the readings for you every day. I like to do that. It's a nice thing to do while you're driving or doing housework. Or you can sign up to get the daily readings in your email. So I'd encourage you to do one of those things. Make sure you read or listen to the gospel reading before taking part in these reflections. I can't wait to go on this Lenten journey with you. Post some comments below about what you hope to do this Lent or what you hope to get out of this Lent. And hopefully we can make this a community of reflection. God bless you.